What's up guys, it's your boy Aston. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys some fastest high run strategy I made on this map Origins. You can go for any run faster by training the zombies with the strategy I've been doing that on my high run game. Before I get into this video, let me tell you guys what track done on this new map Origins remastered on Black Ops 3. They changed a lot of things on this new map, it's not the same as the old one. Origins Black Ops 2. They changed the old strategy and how the spawn system worked and also they made this new map Origins way harder now. On Black Ops 2, you can train the zombies anywhere around the map easily. Even getting high runs on Black Ops 2 is very easy as well. You can train the zombies near the jug where the Gen 4 is. Most of the time I always train the zombies near the Gen 2 because it's very easy to train the zombies there. And the zombies spawn very fast there as well and you can get to high run very fast. So what track done on this new map, they changed everything. It's not the same as the BO2 Origins. On Black Ops 3 zombies, you can't train the zombies around the map because of the mud, it slows you down a lot. Training the zombies around Gen 2 is not going to be easy guys because of the mud on Black Ops 3 it makes you go so slow so when you're training you can get killed easily. BO3 zombies they will slap you very fast and also they run really fast as well. Imagine training the zombies in the mud you can get down easily guys. This is the biggest problem on BO3. You can't keep the full wave of zombies guys more than 45 seconds. What's gonna happen they will bleed out and they will respawn in front of you and get you trapped then game over. On Black Ops 2, you can keep the full wave of zombies behind you, even over 45 seconds. They won't bleed out. They will be there behind you. On BO3, they will just respawn like every 45 seconds later, guys, and try to get you down. On high runs, the BO3 Origins, if you die on high runs, getting all your perks back is not easy, guys. I was streaming my Origins game, and I was on 117, and I died. Getting all the perks back guys is not easy because when you run around the map guys, zombies will respawn every quick and they will try to get you down boys. So getting all your perks back on high runs, it's not easy on BO3. But on BO2 boys, it's very easy guys because you can keep the full wave of zombies behind you and get all your perks back. But you can't do that on BO3 because they will respawn every 45 seconds. So playing Origins on BO3, you have to play very safe guys and try not to get down on high runs. That's why Trag made this game so much harder because we can use those mega gobble gums like self medication, near death experience, perkaholic. It can make the game so much easier. So if you can use those mega gobble gum, what's the point in making the game easier? That's why they made it harder now guys. Because how the spawn system work and this, how the strategy work. Only good place you can train the zombies on this map and you can get to high run very safely is training the zombies inside a crazy place. But you had to do all the easter eggs step if you want to unlock the crazy place. Then you can train the zombies inside a crazy place. The good thing about training the zombies inside a crazy place is very safe and you have so much space to run around. Problem is guys, the run will go very slow because when you kill the zombies guys, the spawn is like very far away from me how the zombies spawn so you have to wait for the zombie to come up to you then you can kill them that'll make the run go very slow any of the place you can train the zombies is near the gen 4 where the jug is but training there guys you can get trapped easily because zombies spawn everywhere and you can't control the spawn and they get you trapped easily so training the zombies near the jug it's not safe and you can get down easily boys. The strategy I made on this map is very fast guys. The run will go very fast and also it's a little bit easy to train the zombies there. The strategy I'm talking about guys is near the gen 3 where the speed collar is. If you want to train the zombies around here, gen 3 where the speed collar is, make sure you keep this door closed. What's going to happen guys, when you keep that door closed, it's going to change the spawn. So most of the zombies will spawn right side and the left side and also some of the zombies are going to come from the window. You can control the spawn guys, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. About. There is a gun next to you, Kuda. So make sure you pack a punch that and get dead wire on it. If you're training the zombies and you're seeing the dead wire to kill the zombies, make sure you have the wind stuff all the time when you're training up here, guys. Because sometimes you can get trapped easily. So the wind stuff can help you out when you're about to get trapped or if you're in a bad situation. If you're gonna use the ice stuff, you can control the spawn. So get all the zombies together and kill them right next to the wonder face, like what I'm doing right now. Then run to near the speed collar and wait for like five or 6 seconds then start walking towards the window and then train the zombies like what I'm doing right now. Don't worry guys I'm still working on that guide video. I will explain on that video how to train the zombies around here and how to get to 100 easily on this map Origins. I will post that video as soon as I can when I'm done with that video. If you're going to be training the zombies around the gen 3 make sure you have the wind swine grenades all the time and on your secondary gun make sure you have the wind stuff because when you're about to get trapped it can, it can help you to escape. On my last video I explained to you guys what the stuff does after 
after 112. It will stop killing the zombies. So, I just want to say thanks to all the people that liked that video. Thank you, guys. I want to say this again, guys. They really need to fix the staff. Because going for high run, boys, you need the staff because it helps you on high runs. On Origin, staff is the only thing that can help you when you're in a bad situation. For example, when you're training the zombies around the Gen 3, and you got trapped and the virus one explored what's gonna happen guys the virus one is gonna freeze the zombies and you need to try to escape so the only gun that you can use to escape is gonna be the staff so what's gonna happen after 112 staff doesn't kill the zombies and and you just got trapped so if you use the staff it can get you down boys it can get you rescued and game over i was on 118 and i got trapped and my videos one explode as you can see and it froze the zombies and I used my stuff didn't kill the zombies and I go down came over if you use the wind stuff what's gonna happen it will make invisible zombies and game over they really need to fix the stuff guys on the other side of the map you can't train the zombies only you can train the zombies inside the crazy place but it's very slow boys so Strike if you're watching this, please fix that. That's the only thing I can, we can use that to go for higher run, and it can help us a lot when you're in a bad situation. I hope this strategy is gonna help you guys to get higher run. If you guys need any help, just let me know in the comments below. I always have to help you guys out. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and like this video. And I'll catch you guys on my next video.